Namaste. So we are back again with another podcast on an interesting problem and out of box solution. It is all about this time on how to use cloud storage for your backup purpose. Most of the SMEs believe that Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox is a good cloud storage solution for the backup purpose. But there are some serious problems when you are trying to use it, you should be aware about. So I'm going to narrate those serious problems in this podcast. I'm going to show you on my computer how these problems are there and you know, you can really compromise on the security of your data and you can really compromise of the very purpose of um, taking the backup of the data on the cloud storage. So we will see this. So let's check it out. So let's say I want all my users computers backups to happen on a cloud storage. And let's say I uh, subscribe to OneDrive or Google Drive or Dropbox or any such cloud storage solution. What happens? What I have to do is I have to let's say say this I have to first create a folder. In that folder, I have to store all my data. And that folder is mapped with that cloud storage. And in that cloud storage client, I select that folder. So whatever data I save in that particular folder will be automatically backed up on the cloud storage. So this is how we provide for a cloud backup of our data as an SME. Now, let me tell you, there is a serious problem. Let me explain what that problem is. So let's see the problem. So let's say I want to configure cloud backup in my computer. I have identified that folder. That folder is mapped with Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox, whatever it is. And now backup is happening. Now let's see what is the problem. First, if user does not save data in that designated particular folder, your data will not be backed up. Two, see, just like you can configure the things in the user's computer, user can change that configuration also. So let's say you have set up your company's OneDrive subscription or Google Drive subscription for taking the backup. User can just easily go to that and change that subscription to his personal Google Drive or personal OneDrive or personal Dropbox, just like this. It could also happen that user can pause or stop that particular backup happening and you would not know. You can't monitor each and every user for this purpose. So you may want to take the backup of all your data on the cloud, but because user is not saving data in that particular designated folder or because user has already changed the settings where that cloud backup will happen instead of your company's account to his personal account, or maybe user might have stopped or paused that backup just like you are seeing on the screen. Your purpose of taking cloud backup will not so. And this is a serious issue. You might continue to spend money on your cloud storage, but your backup will not happen. So let us see how to solve this problem. It is not impossible to solve such problem. So let me explain our technology known as black box duo DCDR. This particular technology will work like this. First, the folder which is mapped with the cloud storage, user will have to compulsorily save data in that folder. He will not be given any liberty to save the data outside of that particular folder which is mapped with your cloud drive. Let's see this on the screen. So here you, you don't see any other place where user can save the data. He can save data only in that particular folder which is mapped with the cloud drive. Now another thing, now you look at the system tray. You don't see any email client or any cloud storage client 
visible to the user. If it is not visible or if it is not accessible to the user, user really cannot make any changes. User cannot change the mapped folder as well as user cannot actually pause it or stop it. You can try this, you cannot do that. So if user cannot pause the backup or if user cannot change the folder which is backed up on the cloud storage, your purpose is fully served. In case you have to change the backup settings, there is a password and that password remains with you or your admin. So user, even if he attempts to do that, without that password, he cannot make any changes. So this is how black box duo DCDR technology can make sure that all your data is stored in a particular folder nowhere else and that data is encrypted and compressed and then sent to the cloud storage and user has no liberty or user has no right to intervene that entire transfer or change entire settings or stop or pause anything of that entire backup process. Not only that, but also once that backup happens, you get an email for all the users configured in Blackbox Duo about the success or failure of the backup. So you are the first person to know whether that backup has happened or not. And if there is an error, you are the first person to deal with it. In other alternative cloud storage solutions even you don't know whether that backup is happening or not even you don't know whether user has kept the data in the local folders which are mapped with that or you don't know whether that backup settings have ch been changed by the user so this is a more enterprise like solution you know where user has no liberty he has to save data in a specific folder he cannot change the settings he cannot stop or pause the backup and when the backup happens you get the email report so you know whether backup is happening or not and this is a perfect solution and this is known as black box duo dcdr so this is all about this podcast i hope you have found it interesting and we will come up with another podcast next time stay tuned